Hi, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros and today I will show you how you can set up Windows Debugger for SQL Server. Now suddenly Windows Debugger and SQL Server, how are they related? So if you ever want to debug a SQL Server crash or if you just want to capture call stacks or if you just simply want to learn the internals of SQL Server and Windows Debugger is, is a wonderful way of, uh, you know, finding out the internals of SQL Server, then you need uh, this WinDBG file. And what you can do is with this tool, Windows Debugger, you could, you can uh, launch this tool and attach it with the SQL Server process and you, you can do all sorts of uh, lovely things. I mean, diving deep inside uh, SQL Server. So the process is not really very straightforward, um, just a bit of uh, uh, nitty gritties that you need to know. So with the help of a quick demo, I will show you how you can get started with Windows Debugger. So as always, let's uh, go and jump into the demo and see how things work. Let's get uh, started. So first thing, if you see SQL Server EXE, the process is uh, running and SQL Server Management Studio is up and I will just run a simple query to see results are coming. All good. The first step is to go to the Windows uh, 10 SDK and of course, uh, depending on which is the latest version of SQL and on which version of Windows are you trying to do this. So I have Windows Server 2016 that I'm using here and um, uh, I go to Windows 10 SDK and um, I need to download the uh, SDK. So either I can download the installer, but I am not a big fan of installer. I will download the ISO. After downloading the ISO file, remember the ISO file could be about a, about a GB, maybe 800 or 900 MB or something, but uh, you just need the Windows debugger tool. You don't need anything else, but still, uh, you need to download the entire ISO or or if you like the installer just go ahead with the installer and choose only the Windows debugger tool and then it will only download that much those many bytes but anyway I have got the um, uh, the ISO and I have attached it to my VM so just to show it to you uh, here if I go to media DVD drive and in my VM the ISO is attached now, if I go to the Windows Explorer and uh, let's go to the DVD drive there and WinDK, uh, Windows uh, SDK Setup EXE, let's launch the EXE and uh, now on my uh, VM, the Windows Debugger is already installed. So I'm, but st I'm still going to show you the process. So let's say this is the first time you're launching it and you can do next or continue whatever it will ask you for the path and you can keep the uh, default path. And um, here is the, um, the stuff that you can actually install, but I only need the debugging tools for Windows. Uh, this is the latest version. So I select this debugging tools for Windows, which could be a few hundred MBs. And then, um, I mean, download and install and all that stuff you can do. But this is already done for me and when this gets installed, so here I'm going to cancel it, but then you will proceed next and, and, and do the complete installation and I will get something like this. So let me go and yeah. So in program files um, x86, we have Windows kits and in Windows kits, we have this version, latest version 10 and there you have debuggers folder and inside debuggers, you have the various version of this Windows debugger file. So you now, uh, good thing to see, you have this for ARM as well. So you have for 32-bit and 64-bit. So I will get in x64 and then, yeah, let's locate our file right at down there. Here you have uh, Windows uh, DBG EXE. So this is the one that I'm going to use. And I'm also going to use the uh, symbol check EXE file. Uh, and I will just explain you shortly how do we work with this. Now, next step, you have the Windows Debugger installed, so you can launch Windows Debugger from the Start menu and you can expand and you can see the various uh, versions of uh, Windows uh, Debugger here, x64, x86, but we are going to take the x64 uh, and you need to, sorry, 
you need to uh, ensure that you run this in administrator mode. So right click Win Debugger uh, x64 more uh, and run as administrator. Now when you run as administrator, even before I do anything with the tool itself, I should set up a folder where the Windows, uh, the debugging symbols for SQL Server can be uh, installed for the right uh, exe. So what I have done is, and what generally everyone does is in C drive, I create a folder called symbols. And I just need to right click and create a new folder. And in that, uh, all these uh, public debugging symbols are uh, going to be uh, installed. So I already have a few things here, but when you're doing it, for the first time, of course, you're not going to have anything. So create this um, uh, folder, C uh, symbols in C drive, and <clears throat> let's let's keep this in background. And I go to the tool uh, here, and first things I will go to file, and I have to set up symbol file path. And right now you see this is empty, and I am going to copy this. From here, I have it saved and you know, in the windows, uh, in this YouTube description, I will put up these commands so I can copy this and put it up here. So what does this mean? So this is actually, you no, know, let me go back to the notepad and show it to you. So this would actually mean the server, uh, we are putting all the public, uh, debugging symbols for Microsoft are put up in this, uh, URL and I'm just telling uh, the Windows debugger to find the symbols in this folder. Okay, and uh, that that's basically the instruction that I'm, I'm providing to Windows debugger. So with this, uh, let's click on okay. And now um, I will go to file and let's go and attach uh, or press F6 attach to the SQL Server process. So here uh, all the current processes that are running on Windows are listed here. I can easily sort by executable. So click on by executable and locate SQL Server. And when you want to locate SQL Server, uh, SQL, so there you are, you have the SQL Server that gets um, listed down and select SQL Server from this list here and click on OK. So SQL Server uh, process has been attached now. And now, of course, you will see that um, now you have got into the debugging mode. So of course, the um, the process is running, but it's in debug mode. So uh, no connections. And of course, your everything gets halted here. You won't be able to run any workload, nothing at all. So all good. And don't worry about this. This is, this is all in uh, demo environment. So of course, you shouldn't be doing all this stuff in production or even in your dev environment. So now um, this is all for learning. Let's go back here. And now what do you need? You basically need the uh, public symbols uh, for the SQL Server EXE and of course all the associated uh, DLLs. So if I go into the symbols folder here, you can see um, um, when I downloaded the public symbols for SQL Server EXE and the language, it's already there. So what it does is uh, in SQL Server um, in symbols folder here, when I downloaded the public symbols for uh, SQL Server, the exe file itself, it will create a, a GUID, a folder by with this long GUID and inside that you will have the PDB file and, and the size of the file will obviously depend on um, uh, what is the size of that exe or DLL. So I already have this and uh, then I did that for SQL language and SQL language DLL was a slightly um, bigger file. So if you go inside this GUID folder, you will see it's about the uh, public symbols are also um, quite a bit 64 MB there. So these were being done uh, manually. So let's say if I go into the bin folder, so now I'm in the bin, bin folder of my SQL installation and there are a lot of these uh, DLLs. And uh, if you, if you just need specific uh, uh, public symbols for a specific DLL, you could, so I did, uh, you could just choose the DLL that you want. Uh, of course, you would want SQL OS and SQL min and SQL lang. They, they all will be required if you're really diving deep inside SQL. Uh, and of course, SQL DK as well. So, um, it's, uh, let's go step by step. So I have already done it for SQL Server EXE and SQL lang. Let me just quickly verify. Yes, that's done. I will take SQL, um, let's take another DLL just for the, for the sake of demo. Let's say SQL access dot DLL. So I can go back 
to the launch here and let's type and I am going to keep the symbols in background so you could see the automatically how uh, it's going to get downloaded right so let me just click it so um, because I don't have the symbols already so I, I will type x uh, SQL access an exclamation mark that's the command and you have this online documentation that you can refer to understand all the commands with Windows debugger and press enter and let's wait for a few seconds so you can see busy and it starts downloading uh, all the files there and it's done because SQL access DLL was pretty small and now you can actually see that the public symbols for SQL access dot um, DLL has been downloaded so double click on this and there is a GUID and you get the PDB file small because the DLL itself was small now this is how you could download the public symbols for every DLL that's um, that's there in this uh, bin folder the installation the binary files that are there but of course um, this is going to be a lot of work uh, to do this manually so if you just want to uh, download um, the public symbols for all the DLLs and like all possible DLLs that are there in this uh, bin folder you could use this command uh, so along with uh, this Windows debugger installation you have a symbol check exe file and then you can say start.dll and, and basically if you see uh, you can provide the same path that I gave in the uh, symbols uh, uh, property there and when you do this it will go and recursively download for all the DLLs and you will have like a big big symbols folder so I copy this and I already have the command there so I'm going to navigate to program files Microsoft SQL Server SQL Maestros I have an instance by this name so that's why and uh, in MS SQL bin and let's keep the let's go and keep the symbols folder right here so that we can see the downloads that will continue to happen so I'll just move this a bit paste the path uh, the complete um, command here let me just quickly verify am I going correct Windows kits 10 so is that Windows kits is my path correct yeah Windows kits 10 debuggers x64 so that's correct Windows 10 debuggers x64 symbol check DLL and let's press okay in the background I need to keep symbols there and let's press enter and then it might take quite a bit of time to download the public symbols from Microsoft symbols server and now you can see it's it's populating so a few things not found then well that's fine there are no public symbols it's not necessary that there are going to be public symbols for all the DLLs. so whatever is available it's it's just downloading and uh, if you wait for a uh, bit of time you will see this entire symbols folder getting populated with all the binaries uh, that are available in the bin folder inside SQL Server so let's wait for some time and you will see this fully populated and now I am coming back after some time and it's still going on as I said it will take uh, quite a bit of time uh, but now you can see that uh, all these uh, SQL DK is up there as well and uh, SQL OS will also come in so you will you will see bunch of these uh, DLLs and the public uh, symbols for them getting downloaded so yeah that's pretty much it and then uh, the ones that for which there are no uh, public symbols or it's not found it just shows you failed here but that's, that's nothing to worry the ones that we need will automatically come here and in uh, another demo in another video I will show you how to now use Windows debugger uh, once these uh, symbols get downloaded uh, how to debug uh, SQL Server using Windows debugger that's for another video with this thank you very much hope this video was worth your time see you soon in another video